Всем привет, меня зовут Ксения, я англомама и переводчик, и на данный момент я преподаю английский в Кристофер Арт Клаб. Сегодня мы поговорим с вами о том, как совместить творчество и английский в такой интересной загадочной теме, как космос. So this is the scheme of the solar system. In the center of the solar system there is sun. It's a star, not a planet, be aware. It's a star at the center and it's a burning ball of gas that provides us with a light and heat to keep us warm so we would be able to survive. Okay, which one uh, is the planet which is closest to the sun? It's Mercury. Actually, it's just rocky, tiny planet closest to the sun and the smallest one in the solar system. Then the second one from the sun is Venus. And actually, it's the hottest one, the hottest one. Not Mercury, but Venus. Then it's our home planet, it's called Earth. It's third from the sun and it's quite rocky, but it has water and oxygen and it's the only planet that supports life. Then, when we keep moving, we'll come to Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun. It's rocky planet and is also known as red planet because the sand there looks like the red dust. Then we come to Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun and is the hugest, hugest in the solar system. It's made of thick layers of gas and liquid matter. Then we come to Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun and the second largest in the solar system. It's largely made of gas and has spectacular rings. Now we're going further, Uranus. Uranus is the seventh from the Sun and it's unlike other planets, it spins on its side. So it's not mistaken the picture, it does spin like that. It's made of gas, icy material, and it's the coldest planet. Okay, Neptune, the farthest from the sun, yeah? It's the windiest planet, so the, the winds there, just, just uh, disastrous, yeah? It's made of ice, gas, and water. Here it is, and now we're gonna do art, which help us to understand how it works in space better. So today we're going to do a project of our solar system. I'm using white acrylic paint, uh, different color sparkles, glue stick, palette. Let me show you the colors that I'm going to use. Yellow, black, red, blue, white and light brown and some green sparkles. First of all, I'm squeezing some acrylic paint and then I'm using brush. I have several ones. Then I'm trying to make the shape of the sun. Don't be afraid to put too much acrylic paint because you'll see in a second that it's going to be just for good. So this is the sun, yeah, it looks like semicircle. And then I'm trying to show, well, it's just pretend sun rays, right? Because the sun gives other planets light and heat. Then I'm taking yellow sparkles and I'm going to use some for the sun rays. Mm -hmm. See, we get sparkler and sparkler. Then we'll probably need to do like this. So the spread mm -hmm. and stick. Now I'm taking some yellow color and painting the inside part. I'm using gouache colors, but you can use watercolors, even pencils. I just think that gouache in this case would be brighter and it dries faster. That's why I'm using it. And the acrylic paint serves as a border, so nothing gets over. And another point that the sparkles stick perfectly. So that's what we're doing. We just try to fill all the white spaces so that the sun looks shiny and sparkly, just like a huge ball of heat. Okay, I think it's quite pretty looking sun. Now going further we do the planets. Once again, I'm taking acrylic paint 
and the planet that is closest to the Sun is Mercury. Let me just take a little bit and trying to make it circle shape. Yeah, circle shape. Okay, then keep going. The next planet is supposed to be Venus. I'm just feeling myself as adding more acrylic paint. See, it's a bit bigger. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system. Then the third one is going to be our planet, Earth. Once again, spreading it thoroughly. Because all the planets, yeah, they look like they're balls. Then Mars. Mars is the fourth. And it's a bit smaller than Earth. So we try to show it like this. Then there is asteroid belt. Asteroid belt, that's how to say a place where asteroids are gathered so it doesn't allow asteroids to get from this spot to this spot. So this is like a division line. So just try to make stones, yeah? Because asteroids, they just like huge rocks that float in space. Let's try like this. Mm -hmm. Then the biggest planet is Saturn. I'm sorry, Jupiter, of course, my fault. I was looking at Saturn, but of course, the biggest one is Jupiter. It's huge. And unlike these planets, which are made of rock, these ones that are behind the asteroid belt, they're made of just gas and ice. Okay, this is the Jupiter. Then, a bit further, I'm going to do the Saturn. The peculiar thing about Saturn that it has rings, yeah? So that's what we're going to draw, the rings. Mm -hmm. And then just two planets left. Just a bit of more. This is Uranus. And Neptune. Neptune is the furthest planet from the Sun. Yeah, the Sun is over here and the Neptune is over here. Now that I made all the borders, I'm gonna color them. So I'm mixing white and blue in order to make Mercury. Yeah, that's how it looks. Then just Taking blue sparkles in order to make it even more you no know, mysterious looking than Venus. It's very hot, so I'm gonna make it like this: some red, some brown. This is Venus. And then our planet Earth. It's combination of water and land. So we need to use some blue, some brown and some green. I have some green over here, just I'll try not to use too much. Well, it's never too much because you can always fix it. Yeah, just take the extras like this. Okay, then Mars. Mars is usually called red planet. Well, the surface of Mars looks like Earth, but there is no water. It's super dusty and there are a lot of volcanoes there. Okay, then Jupiter. Jupiter, it's tripe. Keeping in mind that it's the hugest, giant planet. 
very big just to add some multicolored sparkles over here see it's always hard to control whether not to put too much mm -hmm. then Saturn Saturn is also multicolored just even a hint of blue don't forget about rings they're made of ice and rocks some sparkles mm -hmm. and uranus and just some blue see it gets really magic and neptune the last one the furthest the furthest little darling and some sparkles as well okay i have you may leave it like this but also you may use black color in order to make it really look like space so you just go like this and you color all the space between the planets and between the rocks black so it, because well in space it's quite dark and gloomy and another point that it will really make your planets look brighter yeah remember this is asteroid belt once again I'm using wash but you can use watercolors and maybe it will be even faster I'm going like this So as far as we know, as far as we know, our planet Earth has just one moon, but some planets that are behind the asteroid belt, they have a variety of moons. Some one even have up to 40. Okay. See? So just make sure that you enjoy your painting because it's really fun to get the new information and at the same time to have fun this way um, the knowledge that you get will be of really really good use because you'll remember and on the contrary if you don't enjoy the stuff that you're doing that wouldn't last in your head for long i don't have any rockets here but you feel free to drawer or maybe even to make an application from from paper and stick it over here okay i'm almost done here doing my best i came to earth back mother planet this was mars this is venus this is mercury Mm -hmm. like this and just see if you make it really black near the sun it turns really 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 bright Make sure that we finish over here. Oh, the wider brush you take, the faster it would get. See? I'm almost done here. Just a little bit of hints 
and then our planets would be ready for our space trip. This is the picture of the sun. Sun is a typical star, just a vast glowing ball made mostly of super hot hydrogen and helium gas. So, but the inner part, the core, is like a nuclear reactor. It means that it's just constant, constant nuclear fusion inside. And then we can see the rays of the heat getting further, which helps us, the Earth, to get light and heat. And now we're gonna talk about Earth. This is our planet, it's called Earth. If you look at the surface, you will see that the majority, yeah, the majority surface, the biggest part is covered in water. If you see dark blue, that means it's super deep, and the light it gets, that means that it's not very deep. And the surface of the land can be brownish, if you can see mountains there, and if it has a lot of rainforest or just jungle, so just a lot of green plants, then it will be green. But let's have a look what's inside our planet, inside the Earth. So this is atmosphere. So that means that Earth is cocooned from space by thin atmosphere of gases. Yeah? Then we have oceans. Earth is only planet with a large amount of liquid water on the surface, which makes it possible for life to flourish here. Without water, it wouldn't be able to survive. This is crust. Crust is outermost part of Earth's solid surface and it's just only a few dozen kilometers deep, not super deep. Then there is a mountain. Well, it looks like coconut, right? Well, beneath the crust, it's like almost 3,000 kilometers thick layer of rock. Then we have outer core, which gets hotter and hotter. And the inner core is just solid metal. The pressure here is so high that the iron and nickel are solid despite the intense heat. Right now, I'm going to read you a story from 5-Minute Nursery Rhymes, Wheels on the Bus. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all day long. The bags on the bus go bum, bum, bum. Bum bum bum, bum bum bum. The bags on the bus go bum 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 all day long. All those bags. The bell on the bus go ding ding ding, ding ding ding, ding ding ding. The bells on the bus go ding 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 all day long. The brakes on the bus go squeak squeak squeak, squeak squeak squeak, squeak squeak squeak. The brakes on the bus go squeak 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 all day long. No. The horn on the bus go two 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 two. The horn on the bus goes two 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 all day long. The end.